Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we will be looking at the book of Philemon. Now, the book of Philemon actually only has one chapter, so this will be a one-time video for this book. Um, and then next week we will begin uh, reading the next chapter, which would be Titus. Uh, so let's begin. Paul, Paul's appreciation of Philemon. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother. To Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker. Also to Aphia, our sister, and Arch Archippus, our fellow soldier. And to the church that meets in your home. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and to the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is just basically an introduction stating um, a similar greeting that we would uh, when we meet someone. So that's basically just saying, here we are, we're meeting each other. That's what that first section is, is just a uh, introduction. Thanksgiving and prayer. I always thank my God as I remembered you in my prayers because I hear about your love for all his holy people. In your faith in the Lord Jesus, I pray that the partnership with us in faith may be effective and depending your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because your brother have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people. So that's just a message. Um saying how he feels about Philemon. Um, so it's just a, a met, this whole, whole chapter is basically uh, Paul writing to Philemon. Verse 8. Paul's appeal for Onesim. Therefore, although in Christ, I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do, Yet I prefer to appeal to you on the basis of love. It is as none other than Paul, as an old man and now a prisoner of Christ Jesus, that I appeal to you to, for the son of Onesium, or Onesimus, who became my son while I was in chains. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he has become useful both to you and me. I am sending him, who is my very heart, back to you. I would have liked to keep him with me so that he could take your place in helping me while I was in chains for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that any favor you would do would not seem forced, but would be voluntary. Perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever. No longer as a slave but better than a slave as a dear brother. He is very dear to me, but even dearer to you, both as fellow man and as a brother in the Lord. So if you consider me a partner, welcome him as you would with me. If he has done you any wrong or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, am writing this with my own hand. I will pay it back, not to mention that you owe me yourself. I do wish, brother, that I may have some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ, confident and of your obedience. I write to you knowing that you will do even more than I ask. And one thing more, prepare a guest room for me, because I hope to be restored to you in answer to your prayers. Ephrus, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends you greetings. And so to Mark Aristocrus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you in spirit. So this entire chapter is Paul writing uh, to his fellow brothers why he, why he was in jail for preaching the gospel. This last section that we're talking about um, it's an appeal for um, someone named Onesimus, uh, which he was re-releasing 
um, to someone else. Um, so that's what that part of this verse is talking about. Uh, but the whole thing as a whole is a letter that Paul was writing in jail. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will be back uh, next week with Titus. Um, and then I also will be doing um, topics uh, today as well.